We have Federico Collado, and he is an electronic engineering student and a member of the Robotics Club of the National Technological University from Cordoba, Argentina. He's also a student representative of the Preparatory Committee of UNICEF Argentina, and he's going to be talking about an open academic space development program proposal. Over to you, Federico. Well, uh, good evening. Uh, it sounds good. Uh, okay. So, uh, as uh, Anita told, my name is Federico Gozado, and I'm from Cordoba, Argentina. And I am a member of the Robotics Club and a member of UNICEF Argentina. So, uh, to introduce you, I will. Uh, talk a, a little about the Argentine space program. Uh, it started in 1999 with the LUSAT-1 satellite. It was a, a small satellite for uh, ham radio, and it was the first satellite uh, from Argentina. Then uh, we had the SAC series, which started in 1996, and this series of satellites are for uh, uh, scientific applications, just uh, like uh, Earth and ocean exploration. Then we have the ORSAT series. Uh, those are uh, telecommunication provider satellites for S uh, South America and uh, are geostationary satellites. Then the Tronador program is a launcher for satellites of with uh, a light uh, payload, and uh, the SOCOM project, which is a satellite for uh, microwave observation. So uh, I told you this uh, because we can see that Argentina is a space developed uh, country, but uh, the problem is in our universities in the great career, we don't have uh, space application subjects. So for that, we are proposing uh, a space development program. Uh, this program is uh, um <clears throat> a summary of linked experiences. It's an open proposal for other universities and organizations and it's an academic uh, path to achieve space. The main objective of this uh, program is to awake uh, scientific and uh, technological uh, interest in the university students about space uh, issues. And uh, <clears throat> the whole uh, material for from this program will be open for uh, other universities and organizations. So this uh, space program is uh, divided in three phases. The phase one is called CoreSat, the second one is RP, and the phase three is the is a simplified demonstrator of uh, RT. So uh, CoreSat is uh, the Cordoba Educative Satellite. This uh, is an Arduino-based uh, 3D printed CubeSat for educational purposes. And it was uh, appointed for, to a school and university students. Uh, the idea of this project was to teach about the system and subsystem of CubeSats and uh, it gives the students the opportunity to teach, to test each subsystem and to design a, a small mission. <clears throat> and it had great results as a space dissemination project and as a motivator for uh, the students in space applications and as a <clears throat> promoter for open source. So we have some pictures here for, 
from the uh, workshops we did in Argentina and Paraguay. And uh, the second phase is called RT. RT is a simulated CubeSat mission proposal. Uh, this mission is, will be taken in a digital environment. And uh, it means early, early warning and response against bush fire. So uh, <clears throat> why RT? In our province, uh, we had a constant problem with bushfires. And we, we had a question how we could help the fire stations and other organizations to get a rapid alert on bushfires. So we think in, in three possibilities. The CubeSat clustering, uh, the, to use uh, artificial intelligence on board for processing, and the SatDoc network. <clears throat> this uh, phase covers the design, development, testing, operation, and fulfillment and evaluation of the mission <coughs> using uh, open mission analysis tools and uh, hardware in the loop and software in the loop for the simulation. So the first steps we will take to develop this mission is the incorporation of the St. Knox ground station in our university uh, to provide us uh, telecommunications capabilities to use it as a hardware in the loop element and a satellite services provider for the university. And, and the second step is the research and exploration of the MODIS instrument of the Terra and Aqua satellites and uh, the BIRS instrument of the SMPP satellite and uh, the creation of a uh, research group for uh, artificial intelligence for uh, image uh, pre-processing on board. And the last phase is the, is a simplified technological demonstrator for the RT mission. <clears throat> this uh, simplified demonstrator uh, aims to test the, the RT simplified uh, CubeSat using only the, the onboard computer, the payload, to uh, preprocess the data and, and uh, to alert. And a simplified ground system uh, using the SATNOC network <coughs> for the full data processing and the ident identification. So to achieve this uh, goal, we um, thought in uh, the cube design, uh, cube design competition of the MP of Brazil. This competition could give us uh, the mechanical uh, and engineering model of the CubeSat. This uh, competition is based on the official requirement for CubeSats. And uh, after this phase is finished and the critical design review is complete, we will uh, register this uh, model in the uh, in the <coughs> Um, sorry, I, I don't remember the, the name. Uh, it's a National Registry of Objects launch of the uh, Argentine Space Agency. And if we succeed, succeed, the next step is the launch. So this is uh, just a proposal. We are just beginning. We 
recently finished the, the first phase of this program. And <clears throat> well, we want to thank the National Technological University, the Libre Space Foundation, and the organization of this event. <clears throat> and thank you. If you have any questions. That's brilliant. Thanks, Federico. I've been told some pretty impressive facts that you've come to uh, every single open source CubeSat workshop uh, event so far. Is that right? And um, you've even got ministerial support, so that's fantastic. And it sounds like you're doing a lot to move the capabilities in the country forward. So well done. So any questions? Who's got any questions about the program and how it's, how it's going, going forward? <laughs> so I'm wondering uh, how until now you have uh, how uh, what you are doing until now with the Sarnox data and uh, I think that you have a station right on uh, on the university. Well, uh, that's one of the problems uh, we want. Uh, uh, that's wh one of the reasons we started with this uh, program because we have difficult to uh, install a SATNOG antenna in our university. It takes a long time for permissions and to get the money. I have passed the same situation, so I know I know pretty well what uh, it takes to install in a university a SATNOG station. I, I don't hear. So I have passed the, the exact same situation with you. I have to install the, I have to install uh, my station on the university. So uh, bureaucracy and uh, stuff like that is very 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 hard to. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, deal with. So, until now, have you managed to gather data and uh, analyze them or use for your research? Sorry, uh, just here, but... Okay, so have you managed to grab data from uh, your SATNOC station and uh, analyze them or use, for, uh, use them for your research? Yes, uh, well, as, and, as I told you, this, this is a proposal we are in just in the first step, and we have a, a lot of work to do. I, I, I don't know, um, pretty sure how we, we will implement that. Okay. okay. But uh, uh, the first mail here is the manager of our project. He will uh, give you more details if you, if you want. Hi. <laughs> Um, my question is about like what's the toughest problem you had like with this proposal so far? How? Uh, like the biggest problem that you have with this proposal and how many support of your university have you received? Well, uh, the, the, the problems we have is uh, we don't have uh, any uh, um, so uh, a special uh, space subject in, in our university. We don't have investigation group for space. And even if the university supported us even to, to come here with uh, the financiation of the trip, uh, it's, it's really hard. Uh, also, if you want to uh, buy, uh, for example, an SDR, for an uh, antenna, you, you have to uh, get a lot of permissions and, and a lot of money. And that kind of thing uh, makes you difficult uh, to, to work in, in this kind of, of projects. Great, thank you. I think that's the end of the questions for this one. I have, need to can I ask one? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> one practical question is because you have attended, and it's the third time that you are attending this workshop and uh, you pay a lot of money to do the travel. Some of it uh, uh, you finance by yourself. So the question is, what do you get out of this workshop? Have you, did you get something already? Yes, uh, that's, that's the reason we, uh, we came here. If you, uh, maybe many of you are asking why if you don't have uh, so many uh, uh, certain concept clear. Why do you came here to present it? Uh, and we we came here 
uh, because uh, these workshops and other events gives you uh, give us a lot of, of good information and feedback. And um, for example, in the in yesterday in the um, presentations we had a, a lot of information, and even I had the uh, the contact here of uh, my friend from Southern Logic, and th that's the reason we we came we come here. Very good. Keep sharing. <laughs>